Hey everyone, Sarah here. So I'm here to do my setup for week 32. And yeah, kind of my overall observation is I really like the setup, but I don't like the pulling out all the pages. But anyway, this is a plan, <laughs> plan the ground and Sarah. So thanks for joining us and thanks for all your support all along the way. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. So I'm just getting all my pages together really. Um, and yeah, so just pulling out the pages and then like shuffling through, that's kind of bothering me. So I'm still kind of working through that. And I noticed I had a lot of room left on my kind of like running to-do list and my highlights and issues for the month. So I'm just continuing to use those pages. I'm not going to do a new setup for August because this, uh, this plan with me is really setting up my week, my month, and then, um, a couple of my days and then updating all my projects. So I am just going through and setting up those pages for August around, I like to keep track of any highlights for the month or issues because inevitably they're going to say, how was August? Can you do a couple slides for the, for the monthly review? And I'm not going to remember anything. So I like to write them down throughout the, throughout the month. And here I'm just going through my running to do list and I'm just updating it and talk about the great derailment. So last week it was, I was planning on it being a calm week. Right? So, and because it was, you know, end of the month, that kind of stuff. And I try to keep every meetings to a minimum for my, you know, four people that the month end, it matters. So I was sitting there Monday morning, having my coffee, listening to the birds. And I just glanced at my meeting list, but I had to get, go from my email file, like section to the, <laughs> to the meeting. And I caught a glimpse of an email asking me to fly down that night for a meeting on Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. So I was just like from 6.30 in the morning having my coffee thinking it was going to be a mellow week to getting on a plane in five hours to go down. So it was such a derailment of my week. Like I had the grand planned and it was completely thrown off. So, so the week was still productive. Um, I flew down for the meeting. My flight was delayed a million times. Um, I couldn't find my room at one point, but I was in the wrong hotel. <laughs> so, oh, talk about a whirlwind. So my Uber dropped me off at the wrong hotel. I didn't realize. So anyway, but um, so the week was a little crazy, but so productive. And I really kind of think that my templates, I'm loving my templates and I'll do some, some stuff around templates, but I think if it wasn't for the templates, then I really would have been fully derailed and not got anything done. Cause I just didn't know what to work on. So I just leaned back on those templates and it kept me like right on track, got me right back on track, track. So here I'm setting up my August and so I'm going to be traveling um, a couple times in August and um, including this coming week. So traveling and then at the end of the month I have to travel and here I'm just checking my, my projects and um, seeing where they're at and there was nothing to really move. And then one of my projects got, it was like still on my calendar, but the person's been out, so I don't feel like we're going to have adequate time to prep. So I'm going to move it because I'd rather, I'd rather delay it than it not be effective. So that was that one VSM I put for my goals, like reschedule that. And then um, for myself, I just have like a lot of stuff going on in my house that I'm trying to work on. So I'm still doing that decluttering. I made a ton of progress this week on it. So still tons of dip, tons of progress. And it really went to like, what could, do I have the energy now for? And I just looked at that checklist. So I'll leave a little um, description for my decluttering project that I did, that video I did. Um, and then family, just kind of the same thing. I would like to try to do a, like a long weekend or something this, this month with the kids. Cause we haven't done anything all summer. Um, and just for like so many reasons with schedules and they work and I work and ugh. so anyway, um, I still have to figure that out. Um, and here I'm looking through and, I'm updating my, this is my declutter project checklist. So I've like broke it down pretty granular. And the reason why I did that was so if I had energy, I would just find a task that fit that energy level. Um, and I really did make a ton of progress this week 
Um, so it was really cleaning out my, the Etsy office for all the stuff. Um, I still don't, I'm still so torn on the Etsy thing because just the fees. If you guys know I have an Etsy shop, but it's been closed because it's really all the fees are just making it cost prohibitive for myself. I need to figure out a new strategy. And yeah, so a lot of, a lot of progress there. I know that was like maybe like six boxes checked off, but it was a lot of work. Each of those boxes, <laughs> such a judge. Um, and now I'm going into the daily pages here and this is where I'm kind of struggling. I don't like to write in the binder and when I'm using it on a daily basis, I just pull out the one page. So it's not such a big deal. So I like that aspect, but the setup is like pulling out the pages. So I need to come up with a better kind of plan around that. But I still really am liking this setup, although I didn't use it much last week just because it was such a chaotic, I was like, the plan was totally derailed. Um, but I kind of leaned on my OneNote to to keep me focused on the things that like could not fall the top priorities. So, and I'm setting these pages up knowing that I'm going to be in basically a conference all week. So the personal things to get done. There are a few things that I have to keep track of to make sure they get done. I have to like watch email for. Um, so I'm like future planning them in that day that I should have them by to just remind myself to go follow up on things. Uh, so I'm actually planning out my Sunday here because I want to make a lot of progress before I, I travel. But anyway, so what I was saying was like on the Wednesday, I want to make sure that I have something in my email. And if I don't, I remind myself to follow up. So I did like future plan. You'll see that in a minute, like follow up with this, follow up with that. The reason why I put them in the daily pages, because I have been using my daily pages kind of like a work bullet journal, like how I formerly used my work bullet journal. So this is definitely streamlined this, um, this setup. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really liking it and I'm just setting up my week here. I forgot to set up my week, but again, I'm traveling the entire week. I'm in a conference. So the, the plan is like, I sit there and listen and then I have to present something. Um, but it's very like low key. So <clears throat> not really like super really rigid. I just really did this so I could kind of make sure I just remember where I was at at this week. And then um, for my work goals, I'm just putting in a priority to follow up on those two items. And the reason why that's important is because the following week I have a presentation and it's it's task and information that relates to that presentation. So I can't fall through the cracks. Um, and then I did for myself, um, my focus this week was healthy eating while I'm traveling because I don't know if any of you travel for work, but um, the eating just gets totally derailed when I travel. I'll zoom out in a second here. So sorry. Um, and the eating, I just eat horribly. So I'm just like, Sarah, get some vegetables. <laughs> so just kind of help trying to help myself, you know, eat better during this week of meetings and, you know, all the, you know, whatever, because we have to go to dinner every night and all that fun stuff. So, um, and I'm the only woman, so it's always just like meat and meat and meat and meat and meat. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you guys are killing me. So anyway, uh, just doing the flip through that again. This is so let's see. I'm just putting in the marks for. I'm just in a meeting all week, and then I have a couple meetings on Friday. Um, but I know that I'm not going to have much mental energy for Friday, so I'm not going to even put a lot on myself there. And yeah, so then there's my week and you'll see my future plan. So I'm putting my flight info in here because inevitably I know when I'm like in the conference, like, well, when are you laying? Where are you staying? And that kind of stuff. And I don't want to have to be like digging for it. And also, so I don't have to look through my bag when my phone has died to figure out what hotel I'm in. <laughs> so. Oh my God, that was so funny. I was cracking up at myself. It was like 20 Uber rides later. Anyway. So that's it. I hope you all have a good week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.